taking a look at Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 25. <clears throat> the Lord hath opened his armory and hath brought forth the weapons of his indignation, for this is the work of the Lord God of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. Come against her from the utmost border, open her storehouses, cast her up as heaps, and destroy her utterly, let nothing of her be left. Slay all her bullocks, let them go down to the slaughter, woe unto them, for their day is come, the time of their visitation. The voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon, to declare in Zion the vengeance of the Lord our God, the vengeance of his temple. Call together the archers against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow. Camp against it round about, let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to her work, according to all that she hath done. Do unto her, for she hath been proud against the Lord, against the Holy One of Israel. Therefore shall her young men fall in the streets, and all her men of war shall be cut off in that day, saith the Lord. Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud, saith the Lord God of hosts, for the day is come, the time that I will visit thee, and the most proud shall stumble and fall, and none shall raise him up. And I will kindle a fire in his cities, and it shall devour all around about him. The Lord has opened up his armory, and behold, there are weapons of indignation. Weapons of indignation that only can be used by those who, whose obedience has been fulfilled. This is the honor of the saints. They have power and authority to bind kings with chains and nobles with fetters of iron and to execute the judgments written here. Not their judgment, but God's judgment. His weapons of indignation are in the hands of the servants of the Lord, the soldiers of Jesus Christ. Wow. Do you know how to use one? A weapon of indignation? Do you have one? They're not easy to get. You must be holy. You must be righteous. You must be pure in heart. God bless.